What's up you guys, it's Amber, Amber's Closet, and today we're going to do something very different. I'm going to try to get my motivational speaking on, you know, that's something that I've always wanted to do, but this is my mini way of trying it out. So today I'm going to give you guys 10 ways to get your life on track, or to be successful, or to be happy. These things can lead to all of those things. So I'm going to give you the top 10 ways to really do it, and these things help. These are things that I do. These are things that I know probably other motivational speakers, life coaches, and things like that will tell you, so pay attention to these words. Number one is to pick up a sport or activity. Do something that's different than yourself. Really put yourself out there to try new things. Number two is to write down key points of what you did that day. It's important to show yourself what you did and what you accomplished, and it's the best way to do this by making sure that you stay organized. Number three. Talk to a stranger. I know that this is really weird, but you just never know. You can do this in the store, at the gym, you know, wherever, at the new activity I talked to you about. You never know who's gonna be a next friend or who can be a big opportunity, and you just never know. I have received the coolest opportunities from the most random places, like sitting at the poker table or working out at the gym. So you really never know. Number four is so important, and it's really hard for people to do, that I see, and that's to listen well. It's so important. In business, in friendships, and everything, you should pay attention to small details. It helps you become thoughtful, it helps you become a better like person and, and understand somebody's personality. And the first way to do this and become a person that am, analyzes things is to listen. Listen and take things in before you speak them out. It helps tremendously. Number five is one of my biggest pet peeves, and that is don't waste your time. I can't express this more. Time is money, time is, is everything to you. We all only really have time at this point. So don't waste your time on things that are going down a wrong road. And this has to do with friendships, relationships, business opportunities, don't waste your time. If you feel that what you deserve right up front is not there, don't go forth. Number six is to set small goals towards your larger goal and then become satisfied in those small successes. And I cannot, express this more. You guys, this is so important. If your biggest goal is to graduate college, then every quarter, every semester is a small success. Just say, hey, this quarter I want to get a 3.5. Boom, that's a small success. You know what, matter of fact, in this quarter, in this class it's so hard, I want to make sure that I get a B. Those small successes, you guys, every, every time that you reach a little goal towards your big goal, it's like a small like happiness inside of you because you know that you can do it reach for the stars that is nothing wrong with that but make little tiny stars along the way to get to that big goal number seven is to build great relationships with positive people now i keep saying this to you guys a lot but this is so big like i'm such a nice person and i let all kinds of people around me but what i don't realize is sometimes people bringing unnecessary things into my life is actually hindering me. And you guys need to realize that. You need to stay around positive people that motivate you. You need to motivate each other to really become the best people that you can be. And if somebody is kind of just negative at all times, as much as you love them, at sometimes you have to cut them off and focus on those positive relationships that you have in your life. Number eight is also something that's hard for people and it's to diversify your experiences. Try new food, try to go new places, explore new things, try different activities, be somebody that you normally aren't, and just experience that aspect. You might surprise yourself with who you may become or what you're good at, or you might develop a new passion. So definitely diversify yourself, put yourself out there, and try new things. You never know. Number nine is hard for anybody, you guys, and I wish that I could go back a bunch of years and do these exact things, and one of the things that I would say is to save money. You guys, you might think that I splurge on money and things like that. I used to be a baller. I'm not anymore. When I was younger and I made like good amount of money, that's when I got all these things that I have. And now, a couple years later, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have saved that. That's a down payment for a house, you know, and things like that. So always think in terms of your future when you save money. Save money. Save money for college. Save money for a house. Save money for your future, your retirement. It's never too early to start that. Number 10 is to start meditating twice a day. Now, I'm a spiritual person, and but you don't have to be religious or so spiritual to be a meditator. Now, you can do this in your own way. Just take a moment for yourself each day. I always look at the clock at that time. 
that might be the time of your day that you need to stop and meditate. If it's 11, 11, and you always know there's a clock at that time, then you should take that time in that morning and that night. And that's the time where you should just take at least one minute. And what I do is I set a goal for myself and I say something that I'm thankful for. And this makes me so appreciative of what I have currently and what I have of with my opportunities going forth. And you guys, this is so important. So just take a few moments out of the day and appreciate what you have right now and appreciate the opportunities that you have to be successful. And I really hope this helps you guys. I, I hope I'm like not just throwing stuff at you guys and some of this really hits home because these things really help. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope this all works out. Leave some comments below if you guys have any questions. I will definitely try to answer them and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.